Good morning, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Good to see you all. It's been, it's a, it was a wet one this morning, wasn't it? <laughs> Praise the Lord. Yes. Yes, we need the rain. Yes, so may the rain of his spirit fall on us today as well. And um, we're just thankful. We come into his, his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with praise. We come because we want to draw close to our God. And he is good. His love endures forever. He's taken us. He, he gave us life. And he's taken us as a people to be his own. And he's wiped the slate clean. Each of us are clean this morning. As we come to him, you know, sometimes we need to repent, but he's taken all our sins away as far as the east is from the, the west. So far has he removed them from us. Uh, he's awesome. The Lord is good. It's been a... It's been a you know, a pretty full week for me, many different kinds of things going on in, in our lives. God is good through them all. He's faithful. And we can trust our lives, our families, our health, our work, our economic situation, our daily needs to him. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got Canada in his hands, Israel in his hands. I watched a movie this past week with, with my daughter, Ava, um, All Quiet on the Western Front. Don't know if you've heard of it, but it was up for Best Picture this year. Uh, it's a German-made film, and you have to watch it with um, either dubbed over with English or with subtitles. And it's just so um, incredible what has happened in the world that has allowed for us to have peace. You know, in the Bible it says that there is a time for peace and a time for war, and, and still it's just such a, um, it's hard to make sense of some of those things that happened and still happen and will happen until the Messiah comes. And so, um, He's the one that's the, our Prince of Peace. And because of that, I'm going to read Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth give way and the m mountains fall into the heart of the sea. Though its waters roar and foam, and the mountains quake with their surging. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy place where the Most High dwells. God is within her. She will not fall. God will help her at break of day. Nations are in uproar. Kingdoms fall. He lifts his voice. The earth melts. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come and see the works of the Lord, the desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord Almighty is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Amen. And I just want to turn to Isaiah 9 quickly as well. It says that every warrior's boot used in battle, every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, will be fuel for the fire. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. 
of the increase of his government and peace, there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. And so we look to that day, and as we look to that day, we see that that day is breaking into our day and that we can take some of that peace, some of that righteousness that's breaking through, and as we allow the Lord into our lives, that will shine. And there's going to be great light that breaks into the darkness even now. So we give the Lord glory, and with that we will worship, worship the God the God of heaven's armies, who will break all of the world's armies. He is the Lord of hosts.